the new tax rates for 24 are such that a lot of decisions we make are more favorable in today's circumstances because by historical numbers, tax rates are very, very low. I know it doesn't feel like it when you see the deduction from your paycheck, but you look at where most people are financially, tax rates are very low. If you make a typical family income, your effective federal tax rate as a married couple caps out at 12%. At um, up to $94,000 a year after deductions, whatever. Individuals, half that. But 12% means that there are a lot of decisions you can make that you can just ignore where taxes fit in it and make the best decision for you. An example, and this would be true even for a family income up to two hundred grand a year. Or for a single individual up to, let's say, a hundred grand a year, you're going to find that you are really in a great position to, if you've got money in a traditional IRA, to go through the process steadily of converting that money into Roth IRA money, very much to your advantage. Um, the tax brackets are so favorable that. Uh, buying any kind of whole life insurance, unless you had very, very limited circumstances, would never be a decision to make because of the taxes you might feel like you might avoid by having that. And the salespeople who pitch any kind of variable, universal, lifey kind of stuff as a tax smart thing to do. Gosh, I mean, you don't even get to where that makes sense till somebody has a stratospheric income of maybe 750000 a year or so. I mean, so it applies to like nobody. But they're very much heavily pushed in the industry. So you don't make decisions emotionally because of tax rates because then you miss opportunities or you end up costing yourself money. And so for a typical person buying a house, the pitch always from the real estate industry is how tax smart it is to own a house. But when you take what tax brackets are and you take the standard deductions, which are so high now, almost nobody really benefits other than people who are ultra high income earners and hugely expensive homes they're not making money work for them by having a mortgage interest deduction. It's just not going to really benefit you. So few people get benefit from it. So in an era where almost everybody among the American people is at historically low tax rates, don't fall for pitches that pitch how tax smart it is to do this, that, or the other thing.